Nathan Donnelly with Prop King. We're out here at Rittman working with the STEM class today and we're going through and we're planting up their uh, flex farm. We'll go over the nutrient mixing and then how to go through and dial in their pHs. Then we'll go through, plant the systems up and then hopefully here in about four weeks, they'll go through and have a harvestable crop. What we're gonna go over today is we're gonna go over mixing up small concentrate volumes of your hydrogrow leafy and your calcium nitrate. I like to do this so that instead of using the volumetric measurements of the dry powders, this goes through and lets us be a little bit more accurate with what we're actually going through and supplying our plants with, especially when we're going through and we're adding nutrients while we're mid-crop, right? So when we go through and mix up from the beginning of the crop, we start off with our initial nutrients and then we need to go through and potentially add to those over the four or five weeks that we're going through and growing our crop. And I feel that it is a much more accurate way to go through and do that with concentrates than it is with uh, trying to dissolve dry powders. So what you're gonna need to be able to do this is you're gonna need your hydro grow. You'll need calcium nitrate, two gallon jugs to go through and mix the concentrates in, a scale to go through and weigh everything out, and then some measuring cups to go through and measure our water out. On our label here, it goes through and it tells you that for 10 gallons of concentrated stock, you're gonna need to go through and dissolve seven pounds, 14 ounces, right? But if we're dealing with a small system, we don't need 10 gallons of concentrate, we only need a gallon. So through math that I've already done here beforehand, for our Hydrogrow Leafy, we're gonna to need to go through and dissolve 12 ounce, 12.6 ounces into a gallon of water. So what I'm gonna do is, I've got my gallon measuring cup here, I'm gonna dump about half of that water into my, into my concentrate tank here so that I've got space to go through and mix my nutrients in. So that's about half. And then I'm gonna go through, take this measuring cup here, turn my scale on, put the cup on there so it goes through and zeroes out. All right, and it's in ounces. And then I've got my hydrogrow leafy here, go through and open our packet. And then I need 12.6 ounces and dump that into my cup here. 12.2, three, four, five and six. And then I go through and I make sure I seal this back up until the next time I need to go through and need it because the humidity that's in the air will go through and react with the salts and cause it to become a big giant brick and we don't want that. Then I go through, I have my dry powder to my remaining about half a gallon of water here. Then I'm gonna go through and use my stirring stick to go through and get this dissolved. So the reason we need to go through and have two separate stock tanks is calcium nitrate and phosphorus go through and react with each other in their concentrate forms to create a precipitate. So if we were to go through and put all of our ingredients in at 100x concentrates, it would go through the calcium and the phosphorus would react with one another and basically cause a solid to form and precipitate out a solution, making both calcium and phosphorus unavailable to the plants. So when we go through and we deliver this at 100x less concentration, we go through and essentially have more space in that um, nutrient solution to where those molecules are running into each other a lot less frequently. So that precipitate is happening at a much, much slower rate. I've got a little bit of residual nutrients here left in my container that I measured in. So I'm gonna add some of my water from my container here to get those dissolved. Give it there. I'm gonna go ahead and add this back into my gallon measuring cup to make sure I've got it all good and dissolved and equal. And also I'm using um, warm to hot water to go through and dissolve my concentrates in because it goes through and makes the process a lot easier to get those salts dissolved when you go through and you use warm water. Now I'm gonna go through and mark my container that this is concentrate A because if you go through and you look at our label here, it talks about concentrate A, concentrate B. Concentrate A is our hydrogrow leafy mix. And then our concentrate B will go through and be the calcium nitrate. Again, keeping calcium and phosphorus separate from one another. So then I go through and just transfer that here to the gallon jug. Put the cap on tightly. And then we set that off to the side. Our, our concentrate tank A is made. And again, this is 100X. Now I need to go back and get another gallon of hot water. So now we're gonna go through and mix up our concentrate B, which will go through and be our calcium nitrate. So again, on our label here, it goes through and tells us that for 10 gallons of concentrate 
for calcium nitrate, we would need six pound, five ounces. Again, we don't need 10 gallons when we've got these small systems. So I've gone through and previously done the math. And what we're gonna need is 10.1 ounces of calcium nitrate in one gallon of water to make our 100X concentrate. So again, turn our scale on with our cup on there so that it zeroes out. Scales and ounces, go through, open our calcium nitrate. Nine, 10, point one. Go through, seal our bag to keep the air out, to keep the humidity out so that we don't get a giant salt brick. Get our second jug. I'm gonna go ahead and label it B now for concentrate B. Up about half the water off to give us some space to mix. Take our 10.1 ounces of calcium nitrate. Go through and add that. Use our stir stick to mix that up to get it all dissolved. Again, using hot to warm water because that goes through and makes the dissolving process that much easier. And I've got some residual calcium nitrate here in my dry measuring cup. Add my water back to my measuring cup to make sure that everything's evenly mixed. Let me go through and add that to our gallon jug to store our concentrates. Put the lid on tight and then we're good to go. So the next thing we're gonna go over here is I'm gonna show you now how do we go through and take these concentrates up to go through and get our actual finished nutrient solution. Now that we've got our concentrates made, our A concentrate and our B concentrate, again, A is gonna go through and be our hydro grow. B is gonna go through and be our calcium nitrate. We're gonna go through and make up a batch of feed that we're gonna actually go through and put out to our plants. So what we do is, as we go through and we take equal parts of A and equal parts of B, we add it to our reservoir to go through and get ourselves up to our target EC. So our target EC, when we're going through and dealing with leafy greens, depending on the time of year, depending on the production system, is gonna be somewhere between 1.5 and 1.8. So I've already got my probes in here. And so the baseline pH of this water source is sitting here at 7.1, right? And there's no nutrients in here up to this point. And then when I go through and I go to my nutrients here, it's coming in at 0.7. Okay. And so I'm wanting to go through and get this to be somewhere between 1.5 and 1.8. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with about two ounces of A. And that very first line down at the bottom is two ounces. So I'm gonna go through and add that until I get to that two ounce mark. Now, since we just went through and made these, I didn't shake it up, but if this had gone through and be sitting on the shelf and this is your next batch that you're making, you wanna go through and make sure you shake this to make sure that we've um, got all of our nutrients even in the profile. So I've got two ounces here. We go through and add that to our tank. Take our stir stick, go through and blend that a little bit. And then I go ahead over here to my B, go through and add that to the two ounce mark. Go through and add that to my nutrient reservoir. Again, represented by this five gallon bucket. Take my stir stick. Go through and make sure that's evenly mixed. And then I go through and I reference my meter here and it's going through and it's reading at about 1.4. So I'm right there, almost right to where I wanna be for my target range. And since here with I'm dealing with such a small reservoir, I'm gonna call that good enough at this point because if I go through and add another two ounces, I'm probably gonna go through and overshoot this pretty good. But the other point that I wanna drive home is if I go back to pH, if we remember our base pH when we started with this water was going through and sitting at 7.1. And now that I've gone through and added some nutrients to it, it's actually dropped down to 6.9, 6.8. So the reason that I drive that home is, is that when we're making adjustments to our nutrient solutions, we always adjust the EC first before we go through and adjust the pH because our fertilizers are gonna go through and have an influence on the pH, but generally our pH correction products do not have an influence on the EC, right? So if I would have gone through and dropped this pH down to 5.5, um, before I added any nutrients to it, and then I added the nutrients that I did, now that pH is gonna go through and drop down to 5.3, which is lower than where I wanna go through and recommend it to be for hydroponics. For hydroponics, we generally recommend 5.5 to 5.8 for our EC. So again, when we're adjusting our nutrient solutions, we always adjust our EC first, then followed by our pH, because our fertilizers are gonna have an influence on the pH, generally driving them down. 
So now that we've got our EC corrected and our pH here is sitting at 6.8, I'm going to add small amounts of our pH down solution to go through and get this down to a pH somewhere between 5.5 and 5.8. So here I'm using a half teaspoon to go through and add. I'm going to take my mix stick. Okay, so that's dropped down from 6.8 down to 6.4. Go through and add another half teaspoon of our pH down. Mix it up. We've settled and balanced at about 6.1, 6.2. Go ahead and add one more. And that has gone through and leveled off at around 5.6, 5.7. .6, so now we're good to go through and add it to our nutrient reservoir.